Hi guys, it's Brielle. So today I'm super excited to bring this video to you guys because it has been talked about so much. This is the new Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Now I've heard amazing things from so many other YouTubers and Instagrams raving about this. I think it, I think it came out in about two or three weeks ago. So I had to wait a little bit because of the original hype. I wanted to see what everybody else was saying. I know that they sent out a PR package to a lot of influencers. But the reason why I'm so excited about reviewing this is because I have very large pores. I have a lot of fine lines and this is supposed to completely erase them. Now, I'm also really excited because this doesn't have silicone in it. And compared to the Benefit Cosmetics, I know this one is really small. I normally have a big one, but I always get samples of stuff. So I have like a billion of these. This is the Benefit Cosmetics Pore Fashion On. This has been my go-to for filling in my pores forever. Like as long as I can remember when I first started doing makeup, like this has been my go-to, like holy grail. I wouldn't trade it up for anything. But now that this came out and I heard that it's better for your skin because I know that the Benefit Cosmetics Pore Fashion All does cause breakouts sometimes on some people. Not for me personally, but I have heard that. So how I'm going to be structuring this video is I'm going to demonstrate it all myself and I'm going to give you my personal review on what I think, if I think that it's better than the pore professional. So I'm going to zoom in really close to my face so you can see my actual pores and I'm hoping that this does exactly what it's supposed to do. I, as you can see, I have not unboxed it or anything like that. So we're going to go through all that together. So to start off, we're going to talk about the packaging. Now I am familiar with Milk Cos- or I keep saying- I wanted to say Milk Cosmetics, but it's Milk Makeup. I am familiar with the brand. I have one of their sunshine oils. I got this in a package thing from Sephora. I don't remember. I think it was like their glow edition for the holiday season or something. And I don't really use it because I'm actually not sure. I mean, I looked up the description online on what I'm supposed to do with it and I don't really know what it's for. So. I don't use I don't use it. It kind of sits on my desk. I really like the packaging. I like that it's like milk. Like I like this is like give her some milk. So the blur stick comes in a little cylinder package. Um Oh my god, I thought it was going to fly out. <laughs> and it is a matte packaging as you can see, and I've already went ahead and I've prepped and primed my skin so when I put this on, it's going to go on the way that it's really supposed to go on. It's going to do everything that it's supposed to. So the top screws off and then there is a little protective thing right here. And then it's like literally a stick. I like that it's in the stick form because I can actually like apply it to where I want to where I feel like sometimes when I use the benefits professional, too much comes out and then I'm like, shit, what do I do with the rest of this? And then I'll just, I guess, put it somewhere else on my face. But so I'm gonna zoom in. All right, so we're super close now. I'm hoping that you can actually see my pores. So I'm actually really nervous because if I'm disappointed, I'm like, I'm really gonna be upset. All right, so I have like, my pores are literally all right here. I have them on my forehead, I have them on my chin. So I'm just going to I can see that they're starting to fill. I mean, it's not like an instant thing. Like, am I supposed to layer this? Maybe, yeah, maybe I am supposed to layer it because that looks a lot better actually. So I'm really trying hard to show you what this looks like on camera. As you can see on this side of my face, it is totally blurred out. You really can't see any of the pores. I'm looking in this mirror like really up close. I can't really see any of the pores. Is it perfect? No. Because you know what? Some of us have really big pores and it's just like not realistic for us to think that there's going to be something that will completely diminish any signs of imperfections on my face. But when you look at it side by side, this is the side that didn't get hit with the blur stick. Um, you can really see the pores on my face and then when you look at it right here with the blur stick there's a huge difference so that's really something to take into effect I really want to put it on the rest of my face and see what like my overall thought is because this does have more of a mattifying look and I really like that I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the rest of my face I'm trying to get my curls out of the way Now, I have very oily skin. 
skin, especially in my T-zone. I'm really not sure how this would look on somebody that has dry skin. I feel like it might really cling to anything that you have. So that's really something to think about. I'm also scared because I like, I mean, it looks like there's a lot in here, as you can see. I'm worried that I would go through it fast. I believe this is supposed to be good for all skin tones, which I think is really awesome, especially for my darker ladies. Like, the fact that this is so, like, skin colored almost, that it would be good for you too, I think is really awesome. It's covering up the stuff on my forehead pretty well, which I'm really happy about. Like I said, I am really not sure how I feel so far because of the fact that my pores are still noticeable, like not too noticeable now, but they are still there. They're not completely gone. Now, like I said, I think it might be really un unrealistic for us ladies who have really large pores to expect something to completely get rid of them. I think it's something, pores like that, I believe that there are chemical masks or chemical peels that will get rid of them, but they're really expensive. So these are probably the best alternatives for something like that. I do have to say that I like it better so far than the Benefits Professional just because I really enjoy the packaging and the fact that I can control the amount that I put on. I did feel like I had to put on two layers which is kind of annoying but I don't really feel like I did a dent in the actual product which is nice. Like I feel like once I use the Benefits Professional I feel like I'm starting to ration it. But I think the best way to see if I'm really going to like this product is if I do the rest of my makeup and I'm going to come back and then give you my full review and honest opinion on what I think about the milk makeup blur stick so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll be right back all right so I am finally back after being a little bit more distracted with some other things I finally finished my makeup I do not know I will really have to play around with this stick I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or maybe I I don't know I I couldn't think of an explanation as to how I feel like it looks so good when other people reviewed it and on my skin it doesn't look that amazing I mean I have really big pores right here and I can't see like all of my, I don't know if it was just the concealer that did a really good job. I can't see any of the pores right here, but I still have like texture along where I highlighted at, which is really annoying because I, it's supposed to get rid of like blur everything, any texture that you have or anything like that. So maybe I need to just apply a little bit more in that area. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I really have to play around with it. But overall, I do like it better than the Benefits Professional because I feel like when I have pores here, the Benefit Professional doesn't cover it up all the way. But yeah, so that is my completely honest opinion. I think that it is worth a try. I don't think that it is the most amazing thing ever. I'm going to keep playing with it. Maybe my opinion will change if I do something a little bit different. Maybe my skin prep routine needs to be a little bit less. I'm not really sure. I'll try to try different types of things. Out before I come to a complete conclusion about the milk makeup stick and I'll try to keep you guys updated in about a week or so if I use it every day but other than that I am overall not like I would recommend this to somebody like if they have a lot of problem areas like pores and fine lines and such because my forehead looks awesome and my chin looks really good but I wouldn't say that this is like, when I saw other people's reactions when they used this, like they were talking like, they were beaming about it. Like it was the best thing that has ever been made. I wouldn't be that dramatic. I'm gonna be completely honest. I didn't get this in a PR. I paid for this with my own money. So you're gonna be able to know that this is me being completely upfront and honest with you about how I totally feel about it. I like it better than the Benefits Professional, which I think says a lot since that has been my ride or die for a while. But yeah, so that's basically all I really have to say about it. I really appreciate you guys watching this review. If you guys want to see other reviews on certain things, I know that a lot of makeup is coming out, especially for the spring collection. If you want to see anything specifically reviewed before you go out and purchase it, let me know. I will always try to get my hands on it so I can be honest with you guys before you guys go out and buy it. Alright, so I will see you again in my next video. Thanks again so much for watching, and I love you guys so much.